Hi there guys, it's me British Rail Productions. Today we're going to be celebrating both 50 subscribers and mainly doing a review on the fairly new Hornby Blue Grey BR Mark 1s. First of all, we start with the packaging. Now, this is the box that the SO came in. It's a bit like the Backman box, obviously with the Hornby branding on the side and obviously in a different colour scheme. It's very well with the included block of ice. As I'm sure the climate change enthusiasts would definitely have something to say about that. Um, it is a very tight fit, um, as most Hornby products are. Um, I nearly injured myself um, actually trying to get out the BSK, but I'm fine. And so is the box as well. So this is the Mark 1 SO box. As you can see it is a BR Mark 1 Tourist Second Open Coach and it's a Western Region one, it is W5025. You can uh, quite clearly see the uh, BSK's box is exactly the same as the SO, again a tight fit and with the uh, plastic ice as it's known inside. And there we go, it is a BR Mark 1 Total Brake Second Class Coach or a BSK. And it's obviously again a Western Region one, it's W34845. So now that we've uh, shown the box that uh, both of these coaches come in, I would like to show you the actual coaches themselves. So here we have the Mark 1 SO, it is in BR Blue Grey livery. And as you can quite clearly see, if I just show you there. It is a very, very detailed coach. Now, if uh, the camera comes up to frame, thank you. Um, Hornby, over the past 10 to 15 years, have been making products quite a bit like the two less detailed Mark 1s over there, both the, uh, the BSK and the CK. But, sort of from the past 10 years really, Hornby have turned over a new leaf and have really started to pick up the detail like Helgen and Backman. And we actually have a comparison to show you. So, so next to the Hornby SO, we also have the Backman RBR. Uh, and as you can quite clearly see, the detail is very detailed. Obviously the Backman one is slightly more detailed, but compared to the Mark 1s over there that you've just seen, there is a lot more detail. And the couplings, they have also been shrunk compared to the chunky couplings on them over there. In fact, a good representation would be the Lima Class 20 coupling. As you can see, it is actually quite big. Uh, but these are more smaller couplings, which is very good. And you might notice, if we put them down there, that the grey is much different on the Backman compared to the Hornby Mark 1. Now, I don't know the reason for this, but although I like both coaches, I slightly prefer the Backman uh, grey because it just looks a bit more grey. But when you put these two coaches together, it looks as if the Backman coach is weathered, although it's not. So that is the Backman Hornby comparison. And now to compare it to its maroon counterpart. I'm sure as you can quite agree, they do look the same. That's because they are. The only differences are that the SO here is maroon and this one is blue-grey. But there are some slight differences. 
the coupling. We have the more Backman style coupling, the, sm the smaller coupling. And then on the much earlier but detailed Mark 1, we have a more chunky coupling. However, both these coaches are very nice, great detailing, so well done Hornby. So now let's have a look at the BSK. I don't need to really go into detail uh, the looks and appearances of the BSK because it is very much to the same as the SO right there. The livery is the same, the only difference is being is that there is a brake part or uh, a brake section and parcel section coach and it is a coronal composite. So to sum these up I think we should do a bit of a running with the class 24, why not? You can see the class 24 suits them very well. No problem around the curves whatsoever. Absolute great quality from Hornby and Brackman from the 24, obviously. So how would I rate the Hornby BR Mot ones in blue grey? Well, I'm not being biased that I love BR and particularly the corporate blue and blue grey. But with the livery and the absolute fine detail that Hornby have put into their coaching stock like these two here, I would definitely give them a solid 9 out of 10. The quality is absolutely brilliant, couplings are fine, the smoothness of how they run is excellent, not saying that I have good track, because I do, but uh, there are definitely better layouts, uh, with better track, but on my layout with very good track indeed, these coaches run absolutely superb and particularly with the 24 and the class 08 in shunt moves moves they they just run like miracles really um so i'd like to thank you very very much for watching hope you have a very good 2020 um and there'll be definitely more videos coming up so uh, thank you for watching and I shall see you later. Before we finish up here, I would like to take this moment to thank every single one of you who has uh, either taken part in the creation of these videos or making me so happy by subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. It does make me very happy to know that people do watch my videos and appreciate what I do. I would also like to announce that we have reached 50 subscribers, as I'm sure you know, and our goal now is to reach 75 subscribers, ideally by the end of 2020. Uh, hopefully we make it before then, but who knows. I'm not here for the subscribers, I'm here for you guys to enjoy my videos. And yes... Thank you very much for watching. This has been British Rail Productions. Have a good 2020 and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.